Hey guys, welcome to my unboxing video. I actually uploaded this the other day with the soundtrack playing behind it, but unfortunately it was instantly copyright claimed, so I am uploading it with a voiceover. I'm going to start here with the original Turok Dinosaur Hunter on the N64. This is the Nintendo Switch version, the classic edition, which is their version of the collector's edition. I have a lot of fond memories of this game growing up. Here's a nice shot of the back cover with some of the art and descriptions. This was actually the first multiplayer game that I played with my friends in split screen that had headshots, one shot headshots that you could kill and I got really good at shooting the crossbow pretty much straight across the map and hitting my friends in the head and one shotting them and they would get really mad but it was pretty much the precursor to the halo handgun that was so OP it was very OP for a crossbow I'm showing in the video right here that it got damaged in this spot right here and you'll notice later even on Turok 2 there's damage in that identical spot on the N64 box and we all know how the N64 boxes did not hold up and most people ripped them out of there and they got crushed and they threw them out. Um, but this was damaged merely from the shipping and from what I can understand it's it's from the weight uh, of the metal cartridge because it's very heavy. Um, you'll see the foil looks a lot better once I get this plastic off and uh, it's got a real nice shine to it you know like those special edition collecting cards and stuff real nice shine you can see the foil cover is very nice touch front back all around you got the foil cover even on the bottom and you can see here I start to struggle with opening up the N64 box as every one of those N64 boxes were tough to open. I did not want to rip it so I started to check the other end and I realized that anybody else who's opening up these open them up on the same side as the limited run logo because that side slides right out with no problem. The other side has you know some hooks under to keep it closed and this side does not so the side with the limited run logo opens way easier. Get a nice little shot in the box here. So yeah, it was kind of like the precursor to the Halo handgun because it was so OP. You get one shot headshots. You didn't even need the better weapons in the game because as long as you were a good shot, you could take people out. I would get so good that it would piss me off because my friends would look at my screen. That was the problem with split screen is they'd look at your screen and I'd be like, screen lookers! I'd get so PO'd. They memorize the map and then just hunt me down by looking over. Uh, so you'll see I took out the uh, the poster as well. You know, it's it's just the cover. It's classic. I actually get a shot of it in a minute, but I want to get everything out of the box first. And then I'm going to take a look at the cover of the actual game, which is also foiled. You can see, uh, which is nice. They didn't cheapen out on the cover. And then here comes, I mean, this is the main reason why I purchased the uh, the Classic Edition. I wanted this commemorative metal N64 cartridge, and it's very heavy. It's it's well made. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. It's a commemorative metal cartridge for Turok and Turok 2. Uh, but you can see the, the artwork is very good. The detail's good. It's all raised out of the metal. It is engraved in there. It's very smooth. They did a good job. And it looks identical to how an N64 cartridge looked. I had to get a shot here to show everybody. It's just hollow on the inside. There's nothing in there. Give it every angle. So here's the soundtrack. That I originally had playing behind this video. For the entire Turok unboxing I had the Turok 1 soundtrack playing and it got like the first three, um, maybe the first half of the fourth song into it and then when I hit the second unboxing I put the second soundtrack on and 
Like, I uploaded it, and it instantly copyright claimed me for three songs. So, I was hoping, you know, video game music wouldn't be that serious from an era in the 90s, but obviously, somebody wants to get money off of it. So, yeah, there's a there's a uh, shot of the, the poster. You can go back, pause it if you want to see it. It's just the cover. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like. Here's the inside of the game. You get the cartridge, you actually get an instruction booklet from Limited Run Games, um, which is a nice little touch because getting physical is becoming less and less desirable because you get less and less physical items with it besides just a case. And even for the Switch, like I've fought against going digital, but I don't want to carry around 800 cartridges for my Switch. I'd rather just carry around an SD card in my Switch that is packed to the brim with content. So even the people like myself who fight against it, I think it is the way of the future when it comes to ease and accessibility and is definitely against the side of the collector. So while these are still out, I figured I'd grab myself a copy of Turok because it's linked to a lot of memories of one of my first multiplayer games that I get headshots in. I mean, we were playing GoldenEye long before Turok 2 Seeds of Evil, but Turok 2 took it to a, another level of competition. Here's a nice little shot of the cartridge and the instruction booklet and the whole kind of set. And it's a real quick shot of everything that came inside of the box. The cartridge again. Here's a shot of the card that comes with it. As you know, Limited Run Games always includes one of their collector's cards with their purchases. And one final shot of the soundtrack. All right, now we're wrapped up with Turok 1. Let's break out Turok 2 and see what's in there. Alrighty guys, here you'll see the sealed box still. Uh, the glare kind of makes the foil uh, more difficult to see. But once it comes off, here's a shot of the back. If you guys want to check that out, you can always pause it. I put the card with the front this time so you guys could just see the card right off the bat. Now this game really... I enjoyed Turok 1, but Turok 2 took it to a new level with the multiplayer and everything. Which kind of stinks, because in the Switch version, they did not include the multiplayer. Which is in the Xbox and PS re-releases. There is a an online multiplayer option um, to go back for those memories. That is not in the Switch version. So that was a little disappointing. Alright. Crack out the knife and get this sealed... Puppy open. I don't like to open things that are so limited to 2500 or technically 3275 if you include the 2500 that were in the double pack. So there's about 3275 of these in the world. and But I didn't want it to just sit on the shelf. I wanted to take out... I could still display this box the same way I could have displayed it sealed. There, see? Same exact damage from the first box on the second box. And it's definitely from the weight of that metal. And it pushes either the corner through or a corner of another thing in there. And this time I go right for the, the flap with the limited run logo. And it opens right up. I do not open up the poster in this unboxing for the second game. It's very plain. You could see it from, you know, the picture in the beginning, and it looks just like that, that cover. It's just scales and the, the Turok 2 logo. It's nothing that you guys haven't seen. There's the case, how the entire case looks. 
Here's the soundtrack. I go through the second game a lot faster than the first game. And the music on this was phenomenal. I really enjoyed having it at the end of this unboxing because it was intense and it was it brought up I just felt the level of the video it was a nice little touch that really pissed me off but yeah you'll see that's just the scales and this is really what everybody wants to see that metal commemorative cartridge and after I did the unboxing I put it back you know in the plastic and everything and but I kept it out of the box so nice and raised looks good it's definitely a nice thing to put on the shelf with all the uh, the memories of your childhood and video games that you really enjoyed playing because that's what it's all about it's about those memories you make with the video games and how amazing they were or if it's a one player game how amazing the story was engaging it was it's not about the grind Hey, there you go. Look at that nice foil. Even on the regular case. We've got our instruction booklet and cartridge. Oh yeah. And of course, you know, I wouldn't have the video without showing you guys what's inside of this instruction booklet. And this one's pretty nice. It's got a lot of artwork, concept art, information about the enemies and characters. Oh yeah. A lot of good stuff in this one. I think this stuff is more interesting than what was in the first one. Brings back a lot of memories from back in the day. The Halo before Halo. Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Dinosaur Aliens. So, what kind of memories do you guys have from your experiences with Turok? Did you play it back in the day when it was on N64? Did you guys grow up with the game? Are you just trying it out now for the first time with the remasters? What are your memories? Leave me in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos with some of my collector's items and stuff like that. I appreciate it if you guys leave a like, subscribe. Um, Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys again soon.